We're baking, bitches! And here comes the car. Hello everybody, it's so good to feel good and be back in the kitchen. Today I am doing something exciting that I have been trying to get to for seven months. Yes, seven months. So if you guys recall, back in December, I was in Belgium with my sister Letitia and we were having a fabulous time eating waffles, getting poured on by tons of rain and all kinds of good stuff. And while we were there, we discovered the magic of the true Belgian waffle. And I have been wanting to make these suckers for months and months and months. I got a hold of a waffle maker and I finally got a hold of a key ingredient, this pearl sugar. I'll do some close-ups on that later and show you guys this. It is a key ingredient to making the Belgian style waffles and I am so excited. We're baking, bitches! Okay, you guys, hang with me. It is a long recipe. But it is not that difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a quarter cup of milk and I also put in a quarter pound of butter in here and I put it in the microwave just for a second to warm it up. It's supposed to scald the milk and I wanted to melt the butter. It's going to go in here. We want to check the temperature because we don't want it to be too hot. We are going to be using live yeast, though this is not ice cream, this is just where I keep my yeast because I have a buy it in bulk. We want to make sure that we don't kill our yeast. So we're going to put that in the bowl and it's going to be about 110 to 115 degrees is going to be perfect for the yeast. So let's add the other ingredients in before we do that to make sure that this cools down just a bit. It's a bit warm. So to the butter and the milk, we are going to add four teaspoons, which is one tablespoon and one teaspoon because there's three teaspoons to a tablespoon. Put that brown sugar in there. We're also going to put three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of honey, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one egg slightly beaten, so I'm just going to put it in here first. Give it a little whisking, pour that sucker in. Two tablespoons of water. And then I'm going to put the dough hook on here. And I'm going to get this mixed up to make sure, yeah, it's a much better temperature. So we're just going to mix this a little bit. And finally to the bowl, we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of yeast. You guys see that? Just dry yeast. If you have the packet kind, that's great. I just buy this in bulk. Okay, now we're going to mix this slowly and let it just uh, churn up a little bit. Okay, then we're going to add two cups of flour, but I'm going to do it about a little bit at a time, just so it gets well incorporated. So there's about a half a cup, and we'll mix that. And the other half a cup. And the last half a cup. Now we're going to let this go. Here, I can come down here and talk to you. Okay, now we're going to let this go for about four minutes. And it's going to look like a cake batter. And then it's going to slowly but surely knead into a ball. And it's going to look like bread dough. So that's what we're going to wait for. So we're going to go four minutes. Okay, you guys, you can see that it's, um, it's pretty soupy in here. But I'm going to let you go. And for four minutes, and we'll see where we are.
Okay, it's been about four minutes. You know how I know? Because the camera tells me it's magic. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the dough off of the dough hook. We've got a nice, glutinous, buttery dough here. Let me show you guys. Yeah. Look at that. It is a beautiful dough. It's very light and squishy. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour over this, put some plastic wrap on it, and I'm going to set it in the corner where it's nice and warm, and this is going to rise for four hours. Now, this is essential because these are very yeasty flavored waffles, and they will be delicious. Now, if you don't do this, you're not going to get the nice yeast deliciousness of that. So this is going to set for four hours, so I'm going to go to the gym and throw around some weights, and this is going to grow into a monster while I'm gone. All right, we'll see you in a while. Okay, you guys, it's been four hours. And, actually, it's been four and a half hours. We put the dough in the bowl with a little bit of flour on top. That's uh, my understanding of the best way to do this. And then we put it in the fridge. The specific Belgian technique is to put it in the fridge, and the dough gets a little bit stiffer, as you can see. We've got a nice stiff dough now, easier to work with. And then we're going to knead this just a little bit, just to get the get the bubbles punched down a little bit wow it's a very soft dough and wow I wish you guys it could smell it it smells so delicious okay so then we got this we got a little bit of flour here and now all we need to do take a piece of plastic put it down and then we're going to shape this into a long, oh see, see how this is coming apart? We don't want that. So let's try to get it really mixed up here. Really back kneaded again. We want to get all the, the air pockets, there we go, there you can see. The air pockets out. There we go. So we got all the, the air pockets are out, it's just one piece of dough. We're going to make like a, a long tube out of it here. And then we're going to put it in the plastic, like so. Punch it out, try to make it even, and make it a little bit longer, because we're going to try to make this even, because when this come out comes out, we want to be able to cut it and put it into our waffle iron. So make it as even as possible, and then we'll just wrap it in the plastic, Oop. wrap it up, wrap it up, and we're going to put it in the fridge like this overnight. And that's it until tomorrow. There you go. There's the dough. Good morning again. It has been a night. We have let our dough, whoops, I have it here somewhere. Where is it? Okay, try it again. Good morning, everybody. It's been 24 hours or something like that. Uh, it's the next day and we have our dough. It is here, it is stiff. We're going to put this in the bowl now and we're gonna mix it up with the sugar. And once we do that, we're gonna let it sit for another 90 minutes and then we're ready to make some waffles. I'm so excited. All right, so let's, uh, let's get the sugar mixed in. Okay, so we have our pearl sugar here, and I talked about this a little bit earlier, but let's open this Let's open this up and take a look at it, because I haven't even opened the package yet. All right. Can you guys see this? All right, you guys, here's what the sugar looks like. If you look at it, it looks like little pieces of salt. And the idea is, is that when you mix this into the dough, and then you put it in the waffle iron, that they melt and they caramelize, and you get little crunchy bits of yum-yum in the dough. So that's the idea here. So, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna measure out three quarters of a cup of the sugar and put it in the bowl. And then we're going to unwrap our dough and put it in the bowl. Oh, it smells, you see me? It smells so good. Okay, so my understanding is, since I've never done this before, ooh, it's very elastic, can you guys see that? Is so you're supposed to just put it in here and then by hand mix in all the sugar. So let's just knead this in here.
Okay, I think we got it pretty much mixed in, and here's what it looks like. It seems like a lot of sugar, but the recipe did tell me that it was going to be that way. So, now we need to let it rest. We're supposed to make it into a long shape and let it rest for another 90 minutes. So, it's going to come back to room temperature, and it's going to rise, and then we're going to have waffles in the waffle iron. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm putting this back here. I'm going to cover it with the plastic so it doesn't get dry. And then we will see you in 90 minutes. It has been 90 minutes and I'm so excited because our dough, dough, dough is ready to go. Go, go. Okay, so it has been 90 minutes. Our dough is proofed. It's supposed to be fluffy. It's not super fluffy, but it is fluffier. I don't know if you guys can see, it's pulling apart here. It's doing all kinds of stuff. And look at those pearls of sugar. They're all mixed in and ready to go. So let's get this. Oh, here we go. I found a fabulous tiny waffle maker for like eight bucks at the thrift store six months ago when I was going to do this video. I cleaned it. I've actually been using it for other stuff and it works pretty well. And so we're going to do this. I'm going to cut some pieces of this and then we're going to put it in there and we're going to make waffles. Wah, wah, wah. Well, okay, so set this over there. Let's cut our dough here. But, all right, let's try it. Opening this, taking this, putting one there, putting one there. And there's a ton of butter in this, so I'm assuming I don't need to spray this. Giving it a smash. All right, and letting go. Let's see what happens. All right, so there's our first set, and I don't like the way they're looking. So, ooh, it is hot, hot. All right, I'm gonna let this come back to temperature. All right, this is back to temperature, so let's try this again. I'm gonna flatten them out a little bit here, and put them back in. This time, I'm going to close this and lock it. Now I'm going to set a timer for two minutes. All right, it's been two minutes. Let's check it out. I don't think they're done. I'm going to go another minute. Just like that. All right, that's three minutes. Let's check it out. Wow, these look... Waffles! All right, we're cooking it for three minutes this time. Okay, those are waffles. Three minutes straight through. I'm gonna try a little bit different technique this time because you see the sugar bits are not melting. And my understanding is they're supposed to melt. So maybe my waffle iron is just not getting hot enough. So I'm gonna try a smaller piece of dough, flattened out more, placed in the middle. And then I'm gonna press And then I'm going to release. For the last two, I'm going to try making a ball. Smashing it out a little bit in an oval, like the shape they were in Brussels. And placing them only in the middle because I think that it's not cooking hot enough on the sides. 
Alright, pressing it down, set this for two minutes, and let's give that a go. Alright, voila. Okay you guys, I have all different shapes and sizes here. I tried all different times on my waffle maker, which you're probably going to have to do. Um, I've got big ones here in the front, i got small ones here in the back. Um, came out with lots of different results, so I wanted to show you. And you're going to have to do some testing with your waffle maker, as I did here. So, you can see that the smaller ones are more evenly cooked, I think because the heat, if you looked here, you can see that the heat was more in the middle, not around the edge. So I did some little ones that were just the middle, and I think those are cooked better. Uh, two minutes seems to be about the right thing on mine with it being snapped down, because otherwise they puff up and they don't cook through. Um, none of them have the sugar completely melted. You can see that they've got some of it a little bit here and a little bit here. The darker ones are dark because the sugar melted and a little bit here. But let's give these a taste test because they smell amazing. They don't look exactly like the ones in Belgium. This one does except micro size. Let's give these a taste. It is the moment you've been waiting for. We have waffles. Oh, these smell so good. I don't know if they smell exactly like they did in Belgium when I was there, but all right, so check it out. Can you guys see that? Crispy, crunchy. I didn't put too much goop on it because I wanted you guys to be able to actually see the waffles. I think they look pretty good. All right, let's give it a taste because it smells amazing. Mmm. 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 Okay. It's good. That's really good. Okay, if you're an American and you used to go into your local waffle house, this has nothing to do with that. Um, this tastes like honey and goodness and bread. It's got a really yeasty taste and smell. It takes a little while to make these, but definitely something special. And I would say make them on the smaller side. Like if you're a regular waffle size, waffle iron, make them this big or smaller because the heating element's in the middle. And okay, I have to have another taste. It has a crunchy exterior. The sugar has caramelized. It's on the outside. You get through the crunch and then you have the yeasty flavor on the inside. I don't even want to put anything on these. These are like a cross between a cookie and a cake at the same time. These are really good, you guys. Try them. It's worth it for something special. All right, you guys. Bye. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is how to make the Belgian waffles, the long version of how to do this. And I hope you guys enjoy this. It is a fun project. It's probably not an every weekend project for most Americans because we like the stir and pour kind of stuff here, but I hope you will give this a try. I want to say a special thanks to all of you for hanging with me. This is about 120th video, something like that, and I really appreciate you guys being here. I hope you spread the word and let other people know that I am cooking and taste testing and traveling and all these kind of stuff. I really enjoyed enjoy doing a variety of different things. I hope you guys give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you're not already. I'd love to see you guys back here. And of course, I am taking suggestions. So please let me know what you would like to see me do for cooking. Is there some kind of instruction or something you're afraid of in the kitchen? Let's explore it together. I'm really excited to do that for you guys. If you want, you can find me on Facebook as Eudaimonius Mark II, E-U-D-A-E-M-O-N-I-U-S-M-A-R-K-I-I and almost everywhere else just eudaimonious. I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for coming. Bye. <laughs> and now I'm waiting for another truck. just spill seeds. Um, 
um, 